In this video, I want to talk about why studying computer science will not make you a software engineer, what the best things were about it, and why this paper you get in the end doesn't really matter. Maybe, maybe I still need this for another video. Hi, I'm Leo. I'm a software engineer manager working here in Sweden, and I have to admit something to you. I studied computer science, and I think it was worth it. I know, I know, that's a controversial opinion because there's so much content online currently that tells you to just teach yourself, to go to a bootcamp and to not waste your time in university. But I actually think it was worth it and it might also be the right thing for you. But before we start, let me quickly give you some context so that you can put what I say into perspective and understand it for your situation. I grew up in Germany, went to school there and then decided to study computer science. And one thing that is important about that is that universities are mostly free in Germany and actually in a lot of countries in Europe. So if you're for example in the US and have a huge tuition to pay and you would come out of university with a lot of debt, your situation might be different obviously. After I graduated, I got my first job as a software developer where I did both backend and frontend development, but I quickly stuck to frontend development because that was much more what I wanted to do. And then I relocated to Sweden where I worked as a senior software engineer and now transitioned into an engineering manager role. And this is why I make this video. In my role as an engineer manager, one of my main responsibilities is supporting my colleagues, assessing candidates that apply to our company, and I'm also supporting a lot of my friends in their career growth. So this is why I'm reflecting a lot on whether studying computer science is worth it and maybe necessary to become a good software engineer. And if that sounds interesting to you, let's now talk about the five learnings I had about studying computer science. And the first thing is you don't become a software engineer in university. University only teaches you the fundamentals, the theory and the science behind all the computer programming. It, for example, teaches you core concepts or mathematics, logic, databases, how computers actually work, what is memory, what is the CPU, what is all of that, um, mathematics, networking, how a network works, how computers talk to each other, and for example, embedded systems, how microcontrollers work and how you program for them. But on a very theoretical level, so you learn about how it is done and you do small exercises, maybe small courses about it. And have I mentioned mathematics before? So there's tons of mathematics you learn as a foundation for the programming you will do later. And the strange thing about that is if you start your first job and you actually start programming in the real world, you are confronted with a lot of topics that you've never heard before. When I was in university, we didn't use Git or we didn't use React to create the front ends. You really only learn the core foundation of programming and not the frameworks and the helpers you use later in the real world, which is pretty important. Also what was not really taught in my degree was how you collaborate with other software engineers, how you do a proper PR review, how you use agile methodologies to run your team. All of that you need to learn later on the job. And one thing that was surprising to me was that me and a lot of my friends I studied with, we were better programmers when we entered university than a lot of our professors. Not all of them, they were really good professors, really good programmers, but most of them only knew the fundamentals and the theory and they were way too far away from the reality and how modern software development is done today in companies. So from them, you don't really learn how to program and how to actually develop software in the real world. And here I want to say one thing, without a passion for programming, it is really hard to study computer science. So if you have never written a line of code before, you should really ask yourself if you really want to do it because there's so much free knowledge online in YouTube videos and courses that you can use to start programming. And if you have never done that before, university will be really hard because it requires some knowledge of programming that you require on your own, maybe even before university. But that university only teaches you the fundamentals is not a bad thing. Actually, I think this is one of the most important things and why you go to university. You get a lot of time to focus on the core fundamentals, on the theory and the concepts behind what you will later do. And I've noticed that a lot of people that never studied, that didn't go to university, have a really hard time learning that later on the job. Because on the job, you don't really need it and there's not that much of an incentive to learn it. But I think it is the foundation to deeply understand what you're doing and to actually become a good programmer. So you need to know all those concepts and fundamentals. And university is just a place where you can learn them with a structure. Later, it is really hard to structure them on your own and learn them on your own. So I think this is one of the best things about university. The second thing I want to share with you is that computer science can be combined with other disciplines. I started with pure computer science. I just signed up to university to study computer science and started my first semester. But 
I really couldn't see the application of it. There was a lot of classes about networking, about all the computer science fundamentals, data structures and algorithms, but I didn't know where I can apply them. And that really bothered me until I later realized that computer science can be combined with other disciplines, for example, with like what I did, economics or design or for example, physics. You can combine it and then have a field of application and learn something else. And I personally believe that the most interesting things lay at the intersection between two disciplines. So if you, for example, choose design and computer science, you can become a great UX developer. And like me, you can choose economics to maybe run your own business someday or I don't know what my thought was. But it was really interesting to have another discipline in your studies and learn about other parts of the world and how, for example, businesses or management works. And I really liked it from then on. The third learning I want to share with you is that studying computer science is really hard. I really struggled in the beginning, especially if you come fresh out of high school and never really learned how to study because you didn't need it to pass all the classes. It is really hard because all of a sudden you need to study and you need to be able to understand really complex, deep topics, which makes it really difficult, which made me fail some classes in, for example, mathematics, which I needed to retake to be able to pass them and to study more. And that was a big learning for me that studying a STEM related field is really difficult and you need to study hard. It might sound weird, but I think that this is actually the most important thing about studying something, like study something hard that really teaches you to learn how to learn how to overcome this feeling of not knowing something and working deeply to understand it. It makes you go to maybe the university library and get a book on the topic to really understand what you need to learn. And most importantly, that teaches you a lot about yourself and how to grow into such a difficult field. And the fourth thing I want to share with you is that studying just about anything is all about the people. When I signed up for university, I thought I will go there for the knowledge that I have professors and teachers, they teach me what I need to know later. But actually university is much more designed so that there is a certain structure, but there's also a lot of time on your own where you need to study, where you need to figure out how stuff works. And for that, people are incredibly important. You need to learn how to work in a group, how to talk to other students to maybe get some information you might have missed or some explanation because you don't understand it yet. And you also need to learn how to deliver a project in a group on time, which is much harder than you think. And for me, one of the most important things, and actually I think the reason why I was able to finish my degree, was that I found a group of friends I studied with. Because we all have those days where you wake up and you don't want to do anything, you're super demotivated, you question everything and on those days waking up in the morning, opening your phone and seeing that a couple of friends are already in the library studying, that gives you this small boost of energy that you need to get a shower, get dressed and drive to the university as well. And I think this was crucial to be able to finish my degree and study hard for the exams. Another important people aspect is that you start forming a network. You start to meet people, you start to collaborate with others. And even if you study computer science, you don't automatically get a job afterwards. So where university is super helpful is that you meet people, you maybe talk to professors, to teachers. They are also usually connected to companies and you can get your first job there. And this is exactly what happened to me. When I was in my last semesters, I handed in some project and the lecturer asked me if I want to work for the university. Of course, that was only a part-time job, but I learned how it is to have a job where I program for the university. And out of that, I then got connected to a company that worked with the university on similar topics. And they then offered me a job and that was my first job as a programmer. So I think this is an extremely useful part most people miss when they think about university and a degree. And the last thing I want to share with you is that no one actually cares about your degree. Actually, in this video, that's the first time I use it for anything. And I think that's actually good. You don't study to get a degree, you don't study to get this paper that gets you in somewhere, but you study to learn about yourself, you learn about all the topics and you grow as a person. And it sounds a bit cheesy, but I think it's the process you go to university for, not the result. And I've noticed throughout my career that some of the best people I've worked with either never went to university or quit their degree somewhere halfway through. And it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you work hard, that you learn something in depth and that you are curious about it and then apply it somewhere. So the people I just mentioned usually studied on their own, they become good programmers and got a job and got the experience there. 
Those were my five big learnings I had about studying computer science. And now one question is obvious. Would I recommend to you to study computer science? It obviously depends, but I think for me it was the right choice because I needed this structure, the time to develop my social skills and my knowledge and my fundamentals about computer science and also to build my network and get my first jobs. And one thing I believe in which a lot of people don't want to hear is that such things take time, which is why I think that a boot camp where you go and study for a few months and hope to get a job is condensing all of that into a few months and you cannot form real human connections there and you cannot form real fundamental understanding of what you have to do later in the job and even though you might get a job and might get into tech you will always struggle with this notion of not having the fundamentals not knowing about the math and the logic behind all the computer science and maybe even how a computer works so i highly recommend that you find a way how you can learn that in a structured way and i think Actually, it sounds strange, but university is one of the easiest ways to do that. So are you studying computer science or thinking about it? Or are you just reflecting with me whether it was worth it to go so many years to university? Write it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts about it and what your experience is with university. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.